hey fam hello everyone and welcome 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 once again welcome back if you are old and you are very much welcome if you are new if you're coming in for the first time my name is Chantal Kabe, and i'm always here praying with you and sharing the word of the lord with you i just want to share this word with you today and i believe that it's going to come up to you as an encouragement the lord has seen the efforts that you have put in place in this time in this season God has seen the work that you have done. God has seen the steps that you have taken. The Lord has seen your sacrifices and it's pleasing unto him. There are people watching who have made a lot of changes recently. You have changed so much by the help of the Holy Spirit. People no longer know you for who you used to be. People are seeing a different part of you, a different side of you. And you even see yourself that way too. You see the changes that has happened because your heart was willing. Because you were ready for a difference. You were ready for something new in your life. You've made amends. You've made certain changes. And you're feeling like maybe God does not know or he's not aware of it. The Lord is very much aware of it. He's moving through you to make these changes. To do what he wants to do in your life. A lot of us, God has grown us in patience. You're watching and you used to be someone who could not wait. But at this point of your life, you've become so patient, resilient, tolerant. You've become so patient. And the Lord wants you to know that he's seeing you. That he's seeing the works that you are doing. That he's seeing the things that you are doing. Hallelujah. There are many who have walked away from old habits. Some of us have succeeded to come out of addictions by the help of the Holy Spirit. You have made a move. You have left where you used to be and you are in a different place at this point. The Lord is pleased with you. God is pleased with you. And he honors obedience. Our Father is a God that honors obedience. And he wants you to know that for every act of obedience, there's a reward that awaits you. For every act of sacrifice, there's a reward that awaits you. There's something that's going to happen unto his glory. Hallelujah. When we move by faith, it always pleases the Lord. When we obey, when he calls, it always pleases the Lord. And so I want to encourage you, don't go back. No matter how tempting it may be, don't go back. Keep going ahead. Keep moving forward. The grace is there with you to keep you going. And oftentimes we may not see the results of what we are doing right now. We may not see the benefits of what we are doing right now. But there is a reward ahead of you. It, it awaits you. It awaits you. God is letting it happen for a reason. He's letting those changes to manifest for a purpose. Keep doing it. Keep growing. Keep learning. Become a better version of yourself. Keep growing. Hallelujah. You're waiting for a man, a woman to change. God is saying, make the change. Do it. You're waiting for someone to come and show you love. You're waiting for someone to come and recognize you. God is saying, show love. Show love. Recognize the efforts of others. Appreciate it. And you will see that even in your life, people will start to show you love and recognize your efforts. Hallelujah. Keep going. Don't let the devil bring you back or take you back to the things that God has already delivered you from. Keep going. Grace. I see, I see grace in this season for changes. Grace in this season for changes. Hallelujah. Keep doing what God has called you to do. I hear there is more that awaits you. I hear there is more that awaits you. Keep going. Hallelujah. The Lord richly bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this. If it was a blessing to you, please help me. Like the video and also share with someone who's going to need this. Share this word to encourage others. God bless you. Subscribe if you are new as well. You're welcome to join the family. Love your family. Stay blessed. Stay encouraged. And I hope to see you in another one by His special grace.